What's up, next gen leader? This is the last video in the video series where we're gonna be talking about how to build a powerful network through a podcast. Um, you can astronomically grow your network, okay? Because your network equals your net worth, okay? Your net worth is gonna equal your network. And sometimes your net worth is not necessarily how much money you make, but how much value you're able to give to your network. Okay, I've had Elena Cardone on my podcast, Elliot Hulse, Elena Cardone. Um, you know, I've had multiple NFL players um, <laughs> that others I can't think of, uh, the others off the top of my head. But at the end of the day, that should be your goal is to connect with these other high level individuals. Okay, and how you're connecting with them is they're the king of what they do, right? You want to work with the king, the industrial leaders. Why? Because it makes you look good. Okay, and they have a message and they're already influencing a world. You're already influencing part of the world, and so the goal of the podcast is to come on there and say, hey, I have another world, okay, that you can speak your message to and start to influence, okay? And the more you can show them how you can help them, okay, the more likely you're gonna be able to get these types of people on the podcast. So getting people on your podcast, okay? So the first one, and I don't know if you've heard this before, we wanna turn, we wanna tune into W-I-I-F-M. You ever heard of that? What's in it for me? Not for you, okay, for the person coming on your podcast. What's in it for them? Okay, at the end of the day, and, and I'm not trying to be rude here, okay, might sound rude, but they really don't care much about you, okay? They care about them. Now, I'm sure they do. I'm not, you know, trying to put out anything that's, that's not true, but at the end of the day, most people care about themselves, okay? And especially if you're trying to connect with like a celebrity, a high-level coach, influencer, athlete, or whatever it is, you gotta tune into W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for them? Why should they actually come onto your podcast, okay? And then which leads into the, to the next one is make it easy, okay? Make it easy for them. So depending on what level of where they're at, okay, you need to, in, in most high level people, you're gonna be talking through their assistants, okay, or someone like that. Make it easy for them. Make it easy on their schedule. Make it easy for them to jump on your Zoom. Make it easy for them to show up. Whatever it is, make it easy for them. So if they're not someone that's like super high up, what you're gonna want them to do is you're gonna want them to fill out a form, okay? And the form is gonna have their contact information, Okay, it's gonna have all their different social media handles. Okay, so it's gonna have some of that information because at the end of the day, you wanna help promote them. Okay, you wanna help them get their message out to the world. So the more you can tune into WIIFM, the more likely you're gonna be able to help them. The last thing, okay, is always send an email. And you're sending an email basically going over some important aspects of being on the podcast. So if they're over on Zoom, okay, making sure that they have good video or a good way of recording their audio, or if there's a specific setup or something you want them to bring, okay, or giving them insight on what you're going to be talking about, whatever it is, okay? So make it easy for them, but also send an email. And some of these things you're going over in the form, okay, before you even meet with them. All right, is this making sense? Okay, now we're gonna be talking about what do we do once they're on the podcast, okay? One thing that I've really been focusing on is make them look awesome, okay? Make them look good, all right? Introduce them, make them sound really cool. Give a personal testimony of this person, how they've impacted your life. Go through all their accolades, go through all their achievements. Really make them look good at the end of the day. Okay, people wanna feel like they've done something meaningful, okay? So make them look good, okay? Next one is be a student on there, okay? I know you know a lot and you have a lot of expertise and this person could even be overlapped in your expertise, but you wanna ask questions, okay? Ask lots of questions. And I would even go over some questions that you might ask them before the podcast or right when you meet them before they have before you have them on the podcast, 
ask lots of questions. Questions open up your audience members to listen. Okay, so be a student, ask lots of questions. You have a lot of insight and I think you should definitely share your insights. Okay, don't position yourself as a nobody, even if you have like this really high celebrity that you're like so excited and maybe even goo-goo-eyed over. Is that, is that more of a dating thing, goo-goo-eyed? Just like the star, star eyes, right? Don't position yourself as a nobody. Okay, you still have expertise, you're still a being, you're still a human being just like they're a human being. So definitely share your insight, but I would lead with the question and then the most powerful words you could say on your podcast, okay, one of the most powerful words is and. Okay, build off of what they say. Don't take it another direction. Okay, when you're constantly taking things different directions, it's really hard for people to follow along in the podcast. You want it to be easy for people to listen to. You not only want it to be educational, but you also want it to be entertaining. You want it to be something that people really enjoy okay, listening to. And so when we're using the word and, it builds off. And, and, and. Sometimes when we start using the word but, it detracts. But, but, but. Okay, so always use the word and, and this reminds me of a time, and also what I think is this, and, right? And if you could abide by these three things, okay, for the most part, your podcast is gonna start going really, really well for you, and it'll feel really natural. Um, you know, the, the person that you have on the podcast will leave feeling inspired and feeling good. I mean, these are really awesome, things to be doing in the world. And every time I get done doing a podcast, I just, it's just like this huge release of endorphins, this new level of connection. And I just, I love it. I love everything about it. And these are the three things that I focused on. And when I earlier in podcasting, you know, I didn't really know how to host people. I really didn't know how to interview. I didn't really know how to do things. Then it kind of some episodes just kind of got really choppy. Okay. Or they felt uncomfortable for me or the person I had on the podcast, okay? So make them look good, ask lots of questions. The most powerful word you could use is and, okay? And over time, you're gonna get better, all right? I hope you've enjoyed this video series. If you're interested in getting some feedback in your brand or your marketing, or maybe you need someone to help you produce the podcast, let's schedule a strategy session. I would love to meet with you to see what I can do to take this podcast and your business to the next level. Okay, there's a link below. Click on it. Okay, we'll schedule a session. There's no obligation. There's no sales pitch. We'll see where you're at, where do you wanna be, where you ultimately see yourself, what your podcast is all about, how you're marketing it, okay, how you generate clients, and then we'll start to break it all the down. I'll give my 500 foot view and then um, I'll share what I would do if I was you and we'll start to lay out a game plan and what you can do to move forward. If it's a great fit, great. We can show you what we can do to help you grow and produce your podcast. If it's not a great fit, hey, no hard feelings. We wanna support you any way you can, okay? So click that link below if that's something you wanna take advantage of. All right, thanks for joining me. Again, be inspired in what you're doing. Be next gen, make it unique, make it you. And as always, the world needs you. Keep putting yourself out there, my friend. Good talk.